Pretty Gang and the Junior Exclusive Startup Business. Coach, I want to come in and talk to you guys about a couple of side hustles that are a part of real estate. Yes, ma'am. You do not have to have a real estate license to be in real estate. Let's get into it. Let's not waste no time. The first thing you can do, the first side hustle is property preservation. Yes, ma'am. This is where you go ahead and you do maintenance for a bank and or foreclosure through a bank but you usually get your contracts through a realtor and you're gonna do things like lot changes um, cutting the grass possibly painting things like that so you guys that is something that you can get into where it is real estate involved it's a side hustle but it's definitely something you want to look into so i'm going to be leaving some links below to all of these businesses so you might want to check into um property preservation i've seen some people say you can get in as low as a 500 up to 2000 and i'll give you two different people so you can check them out the second thing that you can go ahead and do is you can become a claims adjuster yes i had posted on my community tab that when we had um a uh natural disaster um, in Texas, they were actually allowing for people to become emergency claims adjusters because there were so many properties that needed a claims adjuster to come out to survey the damage of a property, then go ahead and uh, file the claim so that people can get their property uh, taken care of. So that's something that you can look into. Again, I'm going to leave that, leave that in the description below to become a claims adjuster, okay? The third thing you can do for real estate is you can go to places like hotels, places like stores, and you can ask if they need parking lot cleanup, right? You're only there to clean the parking lot. You're not there to do anything else. Now, if you have a cleaning business and you happen to know how to do other things, then that's great. But just to go there and say, hey, on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'm going to come through. I'm going to clean up your trash or on the weekend, I'm going to come through and clean up your parking lot. And there are a lot of businesses that need that because they that's one less thing for them to do. So that's the third thing that you can think about is becoming a parking lot. Um, you can assist with cleanups for parking lots. Okay. Number four is uh, one of my faves on this channel right here. Hopefully I'll let it slide above, right? Is um, where you can become a notary, but not just a notary and you just go around doing five, you know, $5 signatures. I'm talking about a loan agent this is somebody who assists you with closing documents for any of you guys who've ever bought a car for those who ever have bought a house and you have those kind of big ticket items there's usually a loan officer or loan agent well not the loan officer let's not go there loan agent who is a specific notary right notary public who signs loans for people who are buying things such as houses or such as cars so you guys definitely want to look into becoming a notary um, and specifically a notary who does loan signing. Okay. And the last but not least, you guys is become a photographer specifically for real estate, especially during these times. There's a lot of people who are now wanting to do virtual walkthroughs of a home. There are people who are pretty much buying houses sight unseen just based off of the pictures. And if you are a photographer and you have awesome um, picture taking and you can uh, make the viewing of a property something special then it's definitely something that you want to look into because you can make lots of money by doing photography specifically for real estate so you guys i hope that this was helpful make sure again you check out some of the links in my in my description because i'm going to be giving you links to some of these um businesses specifically about the property preservation claims adjusting parking lot attendant um, Notary Public and of course photography. See you guys after this. Hope I'll talk to you guys later. Bye y'all.